Hello, and welcome to another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. Today, I will be showing you the main differences between SprueCam 8 and SprueCam 9. The differences between SprueCam 7 and 8, there were, there were quite a few of them. There was, it was a long video that we had put out. This one will be relatively short, as most of the changes are not visual per se, but more behind the scenes, how SprueCam processes everything. It just got a lot faster. When you go to the model tab, the only difference you will see is that these buttons right down here got moved up here. They made them a little bit bigger and they've got what they actually what they are labeled next to them, which is which is pretty nice. Go down to the 2D geometry tab and it is the exact same. They took the button appearance away from them in 9 until you highlight over them. onto the machining tab. Before I get too much into this, I will point out any changes up here to the control tab. As you can see, they changed how the caliper looks and they took out the machine control panel button. Other than that, it is the same and operates the same as before. Everything else As for the operations, in the roughing tab, they moved the 2.5D pocketing out of 8, and in 9, they put it in this tab right here. These three were under the finishing tab in SprueCam 8 as well. They just made a 2.5D tab, which is beneficial in terms of sorting it. For the finishing tab, the only thing that they took out were these three, and they added an operation called Morph. This operation I'm not going to get into in full depth right now. That'll be a whole other video here that'll be coming out hopefully in the next couple weeks. I'm, pre I'm pretty excited about this operation. I think it's got a lot of, a lot of potential and I think it'll help out a lot of people. Rest machining is the same. Auxiliary is the same. They added a Sprute script into SprueCam 9. I don't know how much this will be used by Tormach customers. Uh, if you've got a 5-axis mill or a robot, you know, potentially you could be using the Hydro. Uh, they made a makeshape cutter operation. Other than that, the operations are the same. Um, just from using them, I can tell that they improved on how it calculates toolpaths to reduce toolpath time and in a lot of the roughing operations they have added going to strategy high speed cuts which I know there has been a demand for that so that will make a lot of you pretty excited for this release the next thing I want to show you some of the machines. The big addition for Tormach users is it's the Tormach L15 Slant Pro Lathe. And I will be getting more into this as well. This will be a whole nother video as how to operate this, but if you've got the new Tormach lathe, we have the machine definition for you. Comes with the turret, got gang block, the quick change, all of that right on there for you to use. I'm really excited for the release of SprueCam 9, uh, having worked with it, a lot of the bugs that you see in 8 are gone, it's smoother, it's faster, everything about it is, is good, I, I can't wait for, for you guys to try this out. Once again, this has been a SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America, 
and have a nice day.